Hello, this is Bishop Esteves of the Diocese of St. Augustine here in Florida. I wish to present a meditation on the last seven words of Jesus at the cross. Christ Jesus died on the cross to redeem humankind, to save us all from our sins because of his great love for us. Condemned to death by Pontius Pilate, he carried his cross up the Via Dolorosa in Jerusalem to the Calvary, where he was nailed to the cross and where he hung between two common criminals. One may meditate on the Passion of Christ by reflecting on his last seven words from the cross, the last seven expressions of Jesus Christ on the cross recorded in Scripture. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Luke 23, 34 Jesus of Nazareth is looking down from the cross just after he was crucified between two criminals. He sees the soldiers who have mocked, so scourged, and tortured him, and who have just nailed him to the cross. But is Jesus not only thinking of his apostles and companions who have deserted him to Peter, who had denied him three times, to the crowd who only days before praised him on his entrance to Jerusalem and then days later demanded his crucifixion? Is he also thinking of us who daily forget him in our lives? Does he react angrily? No. At the height of his physical suffering, his love prevails and he asks his Father to forgive. Could there ever be greater irony? Jesus asks his Father to forgive, but it is by his very sacrifice on the cross that humankind is able to be forgiven. Right up to his final hours on earth, Jesus preaches forgiveness. He teaches forgiveness in the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Matthew 6, 12. When asked by Peter, how many times should we forgive someone? Jesus answers, 70 times 7. Matthew 18, 21, 22. He forgives the paralytic at Capernaum. Mark 2, 3, 12. The sinful woman who anointed him in the home of Simon, the Pharisee, Luke 7, 37, 48. And the adulteress caught in the act and about to be stoned, John 8, 1, 11. During the institution of the Eucharist at the Last Supper, Jesus tells them to drink of the cup, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Matthew 26, 27. And even following his resurrection, his first act is to commission his disciples to forgive. Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. John 20, 22.